Hello everybody, my name is Weird Throw the Nifty Gamer, and welcome to Super Mario World! Woohoo! Actually, actually this is a ROM hack. This is actually called Kaizo Mario World. Now then, I've got my Xbox controller all set up and ready to go. This is a ROM hack. I'm playing on a Z SCN SNES um, emulator, and it's a ROM hack for the third time, where the game is like superiorly like, it's harder, basically. It's very hard. I was live streaming Super Mario World on Twitch a while back, and someone mentioned this game and said it was really, really hard. So I said, I'll give it a go. File A there is not what we're going to be playing. That's just me practicing off screen. I played a little bit of the first world, and safe to say I haven't beat it yet, but hopefully that will change here. So let's get into it. We'll, we'll do save slot B as our <coughs> as as our let's play save slot, and I'll use A to play on my own free time. But as you can see here, it's it's Japanese or or some other language that I can't read, so there's nothing to read. It's basically just let's let's play and let's die because as you can see down there, there's a death counter because it's pretty straightforward that I'm probably going to die. So as you can see here, the world looks pretty much the same except for the ghost house and the pipe that wasn't in the original Mario World. So they've went through the entire game, I believe, and redone the levels to make them harder. And you will see just what I mean here. If I hadn't practiced, I would have died right off, off the bat there. So this is the only level I've been able to play so far, and I've played it a couple of times, but not enough to beat it, and there you go, I'm dead already. But not enough to beat it yet, I've gotten to, I don't even know, I'm hoping it's like halfway, but it probably isn't even close. So, this is gonna be hell for me to edit, because I'm gonna have to keep on updating the death counter so frequently. And then, of course, maybe the episodes will be very short because there's a lot that I'll probably cut out with me dying and we probably won't even make very much progress and I probably won't even finish the game in the end. Um, I'm just attempting here. Oh, okay, so these guys will pop out into threes. Just jump on them for a bit. Mm, so, they do recommend you use an Xbox... Uh, well, not an Xbox controller, but I could... Oh shit, a, a controller at all rather than a keyboard, and I've set mine up already. So that's all fine and dandy. Oh, come on. So what you have to do there is right when it sits, and whenever you start the level is hold down the run button, run a little bit and jump, and you might be able to hit off the top bullet bill like that. And then you have to platform your way over here, essentially. Well, not platform, but bounce off enemies over here, and uh, you can miss just like that. And there we go, we're already at our first game over, and I'm going to be seeing this screen a lot. You guys, maybe not so much. You guys will just see the deaths. Uh, hopefully, we will clear the first level. That's the wrong file. That's the wrong file. Okay, now we're back into the right file. And there we go. So yeah, every like little hint box that you see right there, that you could hit your head on to like get tips or whatever, uh, they're all in a foreign language that I can't read, so there's no point hitting them. And even if I do... I mean, if you can speak that language, feel free to translate it, but I have no idea what language it is. Let me show you. No idea. So, I have to say in advance, I apologize that the episodes are too short, but of course, there's no guarantee of ah, progress, and there's also no guarantee that I will not die a hundred times per episode. Because like I said, according to the people that told me about this game on Twitch, it is extremely hard and they had no faith at all that I'd get anywhere with it. And that was because I was playing Super Mario World on my live stream, you know, just go for a 100% uh, 100 you know, playthrough stream, no speedrun or anything like that. And they saw how bad I was being, I was being really derpy, I'll be honest. And they were like, yeah, if you can't beat this, you won't be able to get anywhere on Kaizo Mario. And I was like, challenge accepted. And I asked Psycho about it as well, said like, have you... You can't breed again! I asked him if he had ever played it, and he said, yeah, he finished it on a live stream, but he used save states. I'm not gonna be using save states. I'm gonna be trying to play this as much as I can, legitimately, without save states. Okay, so, this is pretty much about as far as I've gotten <coughs> in practice. I've got to where that first bouncy thing is, and I know that one on the right tends to jump over here. And that'll happen. So, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do there. But that's as far as I've ever gotten. And hopefully, we can get further than that in this episode. Come on. 
excuse me. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually recovering from being, well, not sick, but I had like the flu or the cold or something. Basically, I was, I was just under the weather, uh, which gave me plenty of time to edit GTA, which was up uh, two days ago, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. But it's because of that that I haven't actually been recording anything new, but I'm actually well again today, so time to record something new. And why not put myself, you know, in the into the mindset of someone who wants to be hospitalized? What better way than to play this game? Cheers to death. This is gonna happen a lot. Ugh, come on. I looked out my window for just a second there and I think I'm gonna die. Uh, uh, and just like that, we're dead. So I'm thinking... Excuse me, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is for today, which is January 21st, I'm gonna get this episode of Super... That's the wrong file again! Of Soup Of Kaizo Mario World. I'm gonna get that rendered and uploaded for today. And then, later today, I will either finish or do a good portion of the rest of Super Mario World's live stream. Because I did mention that I, I was live streaming that game and what I was doing was 100% run. I didn't do it all in one day, I've only done up to the fourth boss. So if you guys want to see me, you know, finish Mario World, pop by the stream. My stream is in the description. Uh, my Twitch is in the description and go over there, follow it, and whenever I'm live tonight you will get an email. Ah, he's doing the thing. See, this sneaky devil bounces over. Well, I knew he bounced over because I'd seen him do that before, but I didn't know that he made me hit him. Because every other time I've jumped and hit the thing above me, which has killed me. Oh, dear. If there is such a thing as the Let's Play curse, it's going to hit me really hard here. Uh, I'm going to try and get back to my point. So, yes. Go into the description, find the, the bit that says Twitch, go there, follow me if you want to see Mario World, and later tonight when I'm streaming it, or any other day when I'm streaming it, then it, you'll be notified, and you can come watch, and hopefully it'll be happy fun times, and it won't nearly be as bad as this. I'm focusing so hard right now, just to kill enemies. Alright, they're gone. Oh. Alright, come on. Just lower. And go! I've also never seen, like, ah, oh, shit. I've never watched any other YouTuber do this game, so... I, I, I hear it's quite popular, like a lot of people do do it, but no one that I've ever watched has ever done it, so I've never actually seen it before. And the only thing I've seen is, like, random clips here and there from whenever I was looking the game up, you know, trying to download it. And, of course, images as well when I was looking for, um... <clears throat> like, things to use for the custom thumbnail. So, I've seen like screens, like very few screenshots and a clip of. Oh crap! Of a difficult level. But again, I don't know anything else about the game. I don't know what any of the other levels like look like or play like. So, it's all a brand new experience to me. So, this is the first game I'm playing on this channel 100% blind. Which is interesting. You'd think I'd make it a horror game, which I am making Five Nights at Freddy's 3 a blind playthrough. I'm refusing to watch Mark or anyone else play it until I've played it myself. So, I'm looking forward to that when it comes out. But this is the first any game that I've played blind on my channel. And I might regret that. Jump over, please. Okay, I don't know why sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Already 10 minutes into this recording, almost, and we've had three game overs, I think. I'm not going to give up. <clears throat> if it comes to a point where, if I do start beating levels, and it comes to a point where there's a level where I think I legitimately will never beat, that might be the end of the series, but I won't rule it out completely. Maybe I'll come back to it some days. Because if, you know, people find it entertaining or whatever, then I guess I could try and finish it. And I really love Super Mario World. It is my it's my top, like, favorite, like, 2D Mario game. And it might be my second favorite Mario game of all time. I don't know. It's hard to say. My top three are Super Mario 64, like everyone else. This one. I mean, well, the original Mario World. And hop over. Yes! He jumps too high! I just want to tap it! 
That is a thing you can do, right? Just tap, jump. Fuck! Uh, this one... Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine are my top three, like, Mario games, and it's hard for me to, to decide, like, what my favourite one out of the three is. Um... But Mario World is definitely one of my favourites, like, by far. It's so fucking good. I think my favourite 2D one after that might be Mario 3. Like, I know that's a lot of people's favourites, but it's not mine. Mine's Mario World all the fucking way. But then probably Mario 3, and then... Don't really know. <laughs> it's also so hard to say what my favourite, like, 3D one is, because Mario Galaxy 1 was amazing, and I haven't finished Galaxy 2 yet. Yeah! And you're done. Alright, come on. Oh! He's doing it. Right. Oh! <sighs> okay. Fuck! It's harder than it looks. Because you have to be pinpoint accurate with your jump. One tiny mistake and you die on this game. <sighs> Thankfully, I don't rage very often at games, but... This will probably be the game that does it for me. This will probably be my first rage game on the channel. Come on, you bastards. Come on, you bastards. Let's go. Let's get Peter Griffin up in this. <laughs> Paratroopers. Alright, landed it. And he's over. Fuck! Ah! Da, do, 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 do. Not sponsor, by the way, I just love Coke. Pinky up. Ah, oh, dear God. This is gonna be fun. I have to rewatch this entire thing and just like put that death counter. It's like one, two, three. Okay, it's. Yeah, can I just like get like this weak counter thing that just does it automatically for me? Like every couple of seconds, it automatically goes up by a number. That would save me a bunch of time. I hit it! Oh my god. <sighs> I was considering, like, um, live streaming this because when I mentioned to Psycho, I was interested in doing it. Like, again, the two of us aren't mates or anything like that. We just talk on Twitter every now and again. And he said that if, if I thought it was a good idea that let's play it, then go right ahead. But I will die constantly. And with him saying that he did it on a live stream as well, and the fact that he did it with Save States, and pretty much everyone in my Twitch said do it with Save States as well. Um, I have a feeling I probably should have live streamed this game instead of Let's Play it, but I felt like Let's Play would, be, would work better for me, personally. Are you gonna do it? Go. Okay, no. Fuck! <sighs> I'm gonna beat the first level. Maybe not today. Maybe not the next time. But someday, I will beat the first level. And if I grow silent, I must apologize as well, because of course I'm just trying to concentrate on the platforming at hand, which is difficult, as you can see. And if you guys are watching this thing and yourself, oh, it's easy. I, you know, I, I would like to see you play the game, no save states, because that's what I'm doing. No save states at all. Game over again. Because, like, I don't want to use the the uh, emulators, ugh, the emulators tools to my advantage. I want to play this as if it was a game that I bought for my Super Nintendo, slotted it in, and went, "Oh fuck, this is hard." The only saving I get is from the actual in-game save mechanic. The only time I'll save a state is, you know, when it comes to saving the game because I have never, you know, used this emulator before until downloading this game. So I don't know how the saving works, if it, if it does save its file properly or if I have to save a state. I don't know. So I'm going to save a state then. And if the file saves correctly, then I won't use it again. But it's just like a precautionary measure. But other than that, no save states. No in-level save states because I'm a man and I like to take my challenges like a real man. Alright, screw these guys. I'm going to... <sighs> I was gonna say I was gonna skip those guys, but apparently not. Come on. One thing I did think of while like uh, practicing this off screen was 
with Mario Maker coming out soon, I can imagine people remaking levels from Kaizo Mario World in Mario Maker. And that would be awesome! I'd love to see that. Also, when Mario Maker does come out, I'll be making loads of videos on that because I love Mario. And I love Super Mario World, so you can imagine that pretty much all my Mario Maker levels that I play will be Mario World themed. But just in general, like, the idea of making your own Mario levels as in, like, an official Nintendo game is a great idea. YOU BASTARD! I should've just went for it. That was the first time I've been able to consecutively hit him on the head, and then this guy's just like, nope, I'm a dick. Uh, come on. If he jumps over at the start, that's what I need him to do. Right, when I get over here, I need to test to see, like, how high my smallest jump is. Right, you guys piss off kindly. Does that work? I'll try that. Nah, it looks like I jumped too high. Unless I do have to do that. I don't know, it just looks a bit risky. God damn it. Like I said, I, I was sick over the last couple of days. My throat is only now finally better enough to record. And I'm gonna go right ahead and break it again by playing this game. Because of all the noises it's gonna make me do, or the rage I might end up shouting. See, I've done it enough now that I can pretty much get over that section just fine. But the rest of the game's still a bit of a douche. And you're gone. See, if I did see if see it's like it, I'd probably just do it here. And would go from here. Every single time. And I probably should do that so that I can actually get progress done on the videos. Why don't you jump? Right, fuck. Oh. We're not finishing this first level, are we? <coughs> no, we are not. I'll be glad to go back to regular Mario World after this. I think I hit that way too early. And I didn't hit that one at all! Sorry about that, my phone just went off. Alright, so let's just get back into it and finish off for the day. I think... Ugh. I was gonna say maybe we'll go until the game over, but maybe... A couple of extra lives after that. Maybe, I don't know. I really don't know how long I want to make these episodes. Usually I'll probably cut a lot more, cut a lot more out, but because it's the first one, I'll probably leave most of it in. But like... Mm, I don't think I'm getting anywhere with this game. There might just be multiple consecutive episodes where I'm stuck on the first level. But maybe for the sake of actually progress, progressing, I won't, you know, make more videos of me not actually doing anything, you know, failing multiple times. I guess, I don't know. Cause like, surely you don't, you guys don't want to watch five episodes at the same level. I am a genius! And now I'm a dead genius! <clears throat> I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think about that, like, would you mind seeing five episodes of the same, same level just because I can't beat it, or would you like me to just skip ahead to the time I do beat it? I mean, I'll probably still be recording each and every attempt, and that means the Death Counter will still be updated properly, and I missed its nose! Ah! God damn it. Right. We'll go just a little bit more. That's the wrong... Every time I'm doing the wrong save file. I should just delete it and use file A. Not that it really matters, they're both at the same point. But... Meh. Come on. Land it! Yes, very nice. You can... Asexual reproduce. And he's gone. Right, so. Something is happening. Oh, apparently my internet just went off. Yes, okay. Fuck me! Ugh. God damn it. 
Come on. Also, if you guys don't like bad language, you're in for a bad time. Forgot to say. I mean, my channel is pretty much filled to the brim with bad language at this point, but, you know, just a little warning. If you don't like it, you're not going to be welcome here. Well, not that you won't be welcome, but you might not feel very comfortable, because some of the things I say might be very crude, to say the, to say the least. Pretty much every sentence I'll say because of this game will involve some form or alteration of the word fuck. Ah! That was a sentence. Ah, don't use the analog stick, they don't work. Yes, yeah, so on the Xbox controller, I'm using the D-pad, which is awkward for my hand, but the, the thumbstick doesn't really work. Alright, so, because of the time, I'm just gonna go right ahead and say this is the last attempt for the entire video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Check my channel's playlist for more games that I've played. Thanks again, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.